and welcome to my knit night. <laughs> um, if you are a returning viewer, you may be able to tell that this is not the middle of the night. <laughs> I usually record very late in the evening after my toddler has gone to bed and um, today I have a little bit of childcare. I am on maternity leave with the baby, Alf the baby, and um, my mother-in-law has got my daughter. So this is going to be a very quick podcast because Alf the baby is currently sleeping and then I have to go and collect Ellie. So we have minimal time. <laughs> so if you are a new viewer, my name is Laura. This is where I come to chat all about my knitting and crafty things. And yeah, I live in Suffolk, um, most easterly point of England in the UK with my husband and my daughter and my son. Um, my son is eight weeks old and my daughter is three and you guys are where I come to talk to adults. <laughs> um, they have no interest in knitting. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so, so much for coming back. I love you guys. You know I love you guys. You can find me on Instagram as The Lonely Knitter. You can find me on Ravelry as The Lonely Knitter too. And you can also find my patterns on Ravelry. I have a range of patterns um, available for purchase on Ravelry. Links are all below. Um, for everything that I talk about in this week's podcast. You can also um, email me at lonely.knitter.designs at gmail.com. I will put that below as well for any pattern support, any um, queries, information at all. I also have a Patreon. <laughs> um, thank you so, so much to my lovely viewers who help support this podcast and support me continuing to bring content um, and to run giveaways and pay for postage costs. You guys are my absolute heroes. Uh, if you're interested in my Patreon at all and what you get for that money, then please head over and have a little look. Again, the link will be below. Um, you do get a range of my patterns. Um, you get codes for Ravelry, basically. And you also get extra giveaways and giveaway entries when you uh, sign up as a Patreon supporter. And my eternal love. <laughs> uh, today, I'm wearing my Road to Perth shawl. I live in this shawl. I love this shawl. If you're hearing noises, it's because my cat is playing with one of my children's toys, scrabbing around on the kitchen floor and knocking the door. This is my Road to Perth shawl. It is my biggest design. It is a two skein shawl, but it is absolutely ginormous and the pattern is also available on Ravelry. And I love it and I've been living in this shawl um, since I had Alf, just because I am usually wearing some sort of Sicked on t-shirt underneath so it, it covers up the baby poop stains. Classy over here. <laughs> um, one little thing that I want to talk about before I go any further. <sighs> Last week I had a message from someone who watches my podcast with subtitles. I am incredibly grateful for the time this person took to send me a message because they let me know that the subtitles that are auto-generated by YouTube are not correct, not even a little bit correct not even a little, little bit correct. And um, there was a, a word that had absolutely no business being in the subtitles of my podcast. Um, and it was there and I did not appreciate it and I'm very glad she told me. Uh, so I went in and I altered the subtitles to take out that one word and I actually haven't had time to go back and change the subtitles completely. But what I would really like to try and do is not upload a podcast unless it comes with subtitles that are um, accurate, at least a little bit more accurate than what they are. So I will be doing my absolute best to edit the subtitles for this podcast and future podcasts. Um, just so that if you are a viewer who struggles with hearing me um, or if you prefer to listen on silent with the subtitles on, they might actually make a little bit of sense. <laughs> so let me crack on to what I am working on because if we don't go fast that baby's going to wake up and this is all going to go for time. So right now I am knitting on, I just heard him. Right now I am knitting on a little sock for Ellie. This is Dragon Hill Studios self-striping sock yarn and I have minis in pink, yellow and blue. So these, you might remember if you've been watching my podcast for a while, I knit myself a pair of socks in this self-striping with these minis last year and I absolutely love them. And I thought that Ellie might appreciate having a pair too. She loves everything that I knit her and she hasn't got many knit socks at all now. Um, she's growing out of the tube socks that I made her 
last year. Uh, beginning of last year I made her some tube socks. I am actually going to put heels into her socks now because she wears shoes all the time, obviously, being three. <laughs> and I think they'll be a bit more comfortable for her. So she is going to get some socks that match mine. And they are living in this very cute down Sheep Lane little bag that has Roald Dahl, um, Harry Potter, not Harry Potter, my brain, I'm tired. Roald Dahl, um, Willy Wonka illustrations on it. It's a down Sheep Lane bag, but my lovely friend Mia of Bangles and Me gifted it to me. So, what else have I been working on? Last time I left you, I was trying to knit a sweater in six days to wear for Waltham Abbey. Well, I went to Waltham Abbey, but did I wear a new sweater? No, I did not. Uh, I had an incident with a bottle of formula, which spilled in my knitting bag and turned my knitting crunchy. And I did stop knitting while it dried out. And then I did start knitting, Mimi, I did start knitting again, but, um, I'd lost too much time. So the sleeves are done. The sleeves come to about here on me, which is what I wanted. And I'm marching down the body. It is a crop sweater, so it actually isn't very far off being finished. Um, but I might make it a little bit longer because I have made the sleeves shorter. I have a little bit more yarn left over. It has this gorgeous wide neckline. Now this sweater is the Equinox Crop by Truly Hooked. I am obviously altering the pattern with the shorter sleeves and I am not doing it with the ease that is needed and I am going to make the body longer so it's going to be a little bit different but I love this sweater and it has a lovely lovely open neckline um, so I would check out Truly Hooked um, Verity Castledean's designs if you would like to have a look at that. Um, it's living in my So Can Joe bag from my lovely lovely friend Jo and the yarn is Pickled Cabbage merino nylon dk from truly hooked because i've got the five yarn to put on this i've already knit it once i knit it the fit wasn't quite right and a new version of the pattern was brought out for testing so i ripped it all out and started knitting it again now that i haven't got a wool show coming up i've slightly lost my mojo i need to finish that off because it would be a quick win and then i would have a sweater what's wrong with me um what else have i been working on okay I've been working on a few things, but some of them I am not able to share just yet. But this one is a new design of mine. This will be um, out for testing very shortly. I will be letting you guys know about this one. But it is a cowl that starts with some rib and has some very basic colour work and these pearl, um, like sl these oh, yarn in front slip stitches making a pattern and it's sort of arrows pointing each way and yeah this is in the LA family yarn um mini set and when this is finished my goal is for this to take less to take less than half so basically it's set five minis 20 gram minis but you'll be able to knit this with five 10 gram minis um i'm gonna knit two one for me and one for ellie to wear so yeah this one will be up testing very soon um, and then that one has been living in this is a bit of stash enhancement but I'm going to show it now because we'll get out of this this is a Jibby, Jibby Rue sews bag this is one of their new wool felt uh, is it wool? I don't know felt they're felt I don't know why I keep saying that one of their new felt bags and it comes with a liner so it looks like a gorgeous little bottomed gorgeous handbag and then inside it's full of yarn because the rest of my minis and things so comes with this little bag that fits perfectly on the inside and just a drawstring so that one goes in there fits absolutely perfectly and then I can drawstring it shut what I have been doing is keeping my project in there and then slipping like my bank card and my phone around it and using it just as a little handbag and I think it is the cutest thing in the world. So this is from Jibby Russo's and I bought this from them, I saw it on their Instagram page and I messaged them and I was like I love it so much and um, they told me how much they were and then they said that they were looking at how to package them up and I was like are you going to walk the puppy wall show? And they looked at it and I was like would you bring it for me? <laughs> So they bought it for me to the show um, so I could collect it from them there. And they were lovely, I got to meet ladies, my Jibby Russo's, and they were really lovely. So 
So thank you so much for bringing out such a wonderful product. product. And uh, yeah, you guys, I bought mine because it's so beautiful and gorgeous. Now I'm showing you. Go get them. <laughs> They're lovely. I'm not on commission, don't worry. <laughs> so um, that was one of my session transmit things from this week as well. That's all of my, no it's not all of my whips, but another one is also a bit of stash enhancement. So, I've just shown it, oh no, I hope you didn't spot it. If you are in the Truly Hooked Blanket Club, um, look away now, because I'm just going to lift up my project. So, look away, look away, look away. I won't describe it, don't worry. So, this was the first colourway to here, and this is the second colourway. I am knitting a corner to corner blanket. Crochet, I'm knitting, I'm crocheting a corner to corner blanket with mine and um, I've got the 50 grams of DK uh, so I get you get two colourways each month for 10 months so yeah this is what I have so far and I will keep adding on for the first five months and then I will get it smaller for the last five months and then I'm going to put on a natural border uh, I absolutely love these colours I love 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 them and I, um, I can't wait for the next one to come. It's the most squishy, lovely yarn ever. And um, oh, I love it. I oh, can't wait to see what comes next. It's the first time I've ever done like a yarn club where you sign up and you pay your subscription monthly and it comes through. I've never done anything like that before. So it's quite nice to have this thing coming every month. Anyway, you can look back now if you're in the Truly Hooked Blanket Club. I will have put some sort of warning on the screen before I just waved it in front of the screen like some loon. Um, so, other things that have been happening before I show you the rest of my stash enhancement for the week, because I don't have any finished objects, because, you know. Oh, I will show you this. This bag from Jewelry Shows. I got it in a dust bag. Like, how cute is this bright pink dust bag? And it's, it's just like a dust bag with a popper at the top. I'm definitely going to use this as a project bag. In fact, I'm going to keep my, um, I'm showing it again on camera, what's wrong with me. I'm going to keep my Truly Hooked Blanket Club crochet blanket in here. Oh, and I'm doing that because I want quite a wide, uh, quite a large, quite big, blah, 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 blah. I want quite a big gauge on this blanket. I want it to turn out as big as it can be without being ridiculously holy. I like how it's being at the moment, um, how it's coming out at the moment. Um, this is a six millimeter crochet hook. Put that in there, ready for next month. So, other news before I finish off with Stash Enhancement is that I have released a new pattern. Um, this one was quite a biggie for me because it's the first pattern that I've released since Alfie has been born. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm super, super, super proud of these. Um, I really like how they've come out and they smell like my washing, my uh, fabric conditioner and it's amazing. Um, so, these around are my festi cuffs <laughs> so they are um just cuffs with an optional crochet edging and a loop and they have a flip over top i did show these last time i think or was it the time before they have a flip over top uh, so if you want your hands completely free they can be um for knitting and other things texting uh, one of my good friends also pointed out that they are good for wheelchair users so that you um you can move them about as and when you'd want to to be able to have your hands free as you would need they are good for pretty much anything that you need your hands free for but still getting a bit of warmth in there <laughs> my friend wants a pair knit for her niece who plays the violin and she does like outside concerts and um, especially at, like christmas she does charity um like outside uh, concerts Alfie is definitely not a happy bunny um, and so these well, these would allow her hands to be free and then pull them up as and when she needs to to get nice and snuggly and warm. I will put a picture on the screen here. So you can see, um, I think I talked about this before, because I was entering these as um, my entry into the Unravel design competition. I didn't get shortlisted. There was some stiff competition. Um, I think the voting has now closed, but I have voted 
a couple of times myself because you can vote once every 24 hours and um, I voted for it was a Molia cow I think it must have won because it was way ahead of like other ones on there must have done it must have done um, but it was absolutely beautiful you can't win them all and um, it was a nice experience for me to like enter something in something I've never done that before uh, so these patterns have now been this pattern has now been perfected and I'm happy with it and it is now up for sale on my Ravelry page so if you fancy supporting me in this whole journey of trying to um, make something of pattern designing then uh, yeah head over and have a little look at my Ravelry store. So I get two pairs of these, they're going into my little um, basket of hand knits that I've got going this year and some of them I'll give out and some of them I'll keep, these ones are definitely staying with me these ones might go to my friend, I don't know, but I'm just stacking up all my little hand knits, all of my designs and things, um, all my samples to um, make me happy <laughs> in a basket. <laughs> so um, yeah, that pattern has now been released and it's up for sale. Okay, so now on to stash enhancement. First thing I'm going to show you is an amazing package that I was given by my lovely friend Jo. Um, my friend Jo I haven't talked about anything. There's a few friends I have online that I can talk to about anything, like my friend Sharon, my friend Joe, and um, yeah, like, and then a few others. Like, you know, you guys are amazing. Um, and I've made so many amazing friends through this community. And my gorgeous friend Joe sent me a package. I've been talking about wanting interchangeable knitting needles because I haven't got a set. I've just got the odd bits of bobs and the Knit Pro Symphonies were failing me, they kept breaking. And I like metal needles anyway. So I was looking at saving up for the small child boot set. Obviously that wouldn't give me the bigger sizes, but I wouldn't have been able to afford them all. Well, my lovely friend Jo sent me this set. Um, it's currently missing two sizes because I'm using them on two projects. <laughs> but this is a um, Knit Pro needle. I've, it's undone at the moment, but it zips up. Uh, interchangeable needle set. And it comes with cables and stoppers in the back and then here it comes with needle sizes from 3.5 millimeter up to eight millimeter and they are colored depending on um, what size they are. And she said she, um, I think she said she won it. Did you win it, Joe? And um, she didn't want, wasn't going to use it. Well, this, this is a big deal for me, <laughs> big deal for me. So now I have all the larger sets. So I'm gonna save up to buy the small Chowgoo set um, that I'm already putting these to good use. This is so nice not to have to scrabble through my bag of full of uh, knitting needles and be finding all of these symphony tips that don't match and the um, numbers have rubbed off the wood and yeah. So now I have a set all of my own. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. But she also sent me a gorgeous notebook and um, some other bits, but this notebook is like a planner book with like goals for the week and has to-do lists on it and it's everything I love with stationery and some yarn because she spoils me. She had this one in stash that she sent me. This is, oh, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I love this gold colour. The gold colour is like my baby at the moment. I'm like, mm, I love it so much. So this one, which doesn't have a tag on, so um, not 100% sure on the details, but also this, she got me this. Love hand dyed, four ply sock yarn, 75% super, 75% uh, merino, 25% nylon, uh, 400 meters to 100 grams, and look at the pinks and purples in that. So that definitely has to be salt swipe. Mm. So good, so good. I'm having something barely. <gasps> Maybe I'll have a think. But yeah, these two from my lovely friend Joe. Thank you very much. I'm very spoiled. Thank you. Then something else was gifted. My lovely, lovely, lovely friend Sharon gave me an amazing box of goodies for Alfie. She knit him a pair of socks, she bought him some lovely little baby clothes, and um, she also gave my daughter Ellie the book Brambley Hedge, um, like a collection of stories which we've been reading at bedtime that Ellie loves. And she also put in some little minis for me because she's a legend. Um, so these are, this one's a Lay Family Yarn Easter Mini. Um, it's one of Megan Lay's. I think it's one that came with her project bag maybe. Did she do an Easter set last year? So it's this gorgeous little mini. And then these two, which are Legacy Fibre Arts. So these are gonna go in my crochet blanket. Um, 
which we need to get out again my granny's blanket then i went to welcome abby walsh uh -oh. <laughs> And um, one of the things that I knew I was going to get, because I really wanted to try them out, was the Chowview Interchangeables. So I got one set of 3.25mm tips and a, um, a cable, just so I can do magic loop for things like cows and, yeah, and use it for some shorter design ideas that I had. I thought this would be the most useful one to me at the moment. I have um, a few sock needles, so I really didn't need to try out. I, I just wanted a size that I need all the time and don't seem to have at the moment, and that was 325 so I love them, I love them. The join is like non-existent, um, it's here. You can see it, but I swear I can't feel it even a little bit. It's, it's so good, it's so good, and I love these needles, they just fly for me. So um, this is, I know now that this is the set I really, really want to save up for. And I'm not like sitting there saving up and I'm gonna pay out for something that I'm then not sure isn't gonna be, is gonna be what I want it to be. You know, if you're gonna spend 80, 90 quid on a set of needles, you want to know that they're exactly what you want to need. Anyway, so that was my needle purchase. I also bought Ellie a little I Spy bag. It was like a game and you looked in and um, it has all these little beads and then it's like a bean bag and you squish around, it's got a clear window and you find these little things. She loves it, absolutely loves it. It was a good purchase. It's living in my car because she keeps it in her car seat and plays with it while, she's, while we're driving around. And then, I didn't go too crazy on yarn. Like, I feel like most shows, I'm like, oh, the yarn. Well, I didn't have any money this time because I'm on maternity leave, so I'm broke. So, um, I was very good. Very, very good. I didn't want to be very good. There was loads of amazing yarn. I could have spent all my money, or Chris's money, or Sharon's money, she went, or Charlie's money, she went. I could have spent all the money, but I didn't. I was a good person. Good girl. Didn't. My first thing I got was... The, fir the first thing I got at the show was this skein. Oh, I'm truly hooked. Oh, oh, look at the metallic. It's truly hooked. I can't, I'll, uh, you'll have to trust me because my lighting, I'm not going to see it. <laughs> um, this is the colourway Cadbury. And I first saw this at the Southern Wool Show last year. I think it's Sophie, Spring Sophie, Sophie, was um, getting a skein. And I just fell in love with it. So this is a standard sock. And I have an idea for this, a, um, a pattern idea for this one. So, and then I went to Dusty Dimples. I was going to Dusty Dimples uh, because I love her. So, um, I usually just dye the best yarn. I mean, loads of people dye the best yarn. You guys are all really talented, but yeah. This one is light gold mustard. Alfie's crying. Dusty sock. 75% super wash merino, 25% nylon, in this gorgeous gold colour. And then I got these three minis because originally I picked up these two to go with it in something. Then I picked up this one and I couldn't decide. So this is potentially going to be these three with this one for an idea that I have. I'm going to go and get out. Right. Hi. I would have been back sooner, but someone else, the baby, someone had a poon army. Alpha Baby is not feeling his usual self today because he had his eight week jabs today. He's very brave. He's a very brave boy. I know. Nurses. They stabbed you three times. And all drops in the mouth. And the um one of them was a lot of vaccine, so for that one he might be a bit under the weather. So yeah, I had a lovely time at Waltham Abbey Wall Show. Um went with my lovely friend Charlie. Um, who is Noodle Soup Yarns, and then met up, oh no, met up when we got there with Sharon, who is SCL1 TNA, my lovely friend Sharon, and Mia, the dye behind Brambles of Me, and there was so many people, um, we saw Gemma, the project bag, we saw, um, I saw with Sally, Sally, um, I saw so many people, I saw so many people, um, and some of the amazing, um, amazing vendors, like, yeah, but it was, it was a lovely, lovely day, and I went with Alf, and he was very good, and um, he only cried, like, in the last 10 minutes of the journey, it was only a couple of hours, so he wasn't in the car seat too long, but, um, he sort of woke up both ways 15 minutes before we got to the end, so, um, it was definitely long enough for him. 
I'm not sure now if I'm going to be able to make it to unravel. Um, I just don't think I can afford it. Uh, we will see. I have some more patterns to release in the next few weeks and a few other things may be going on. So you never know. I might be able to make it happen, but not 100%. But I would really like to go still to Yorkshire Yarn Fest in March, so that one is still on the cards for me at the moment. And yeah, I think that was everything for today. This might be how some of the podcasts go nowadays with um, someone <laughs> joining me. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I think I was going to say. Uh, my brain is like a sieve, so I could have forgotten absolutely anything. But if you have any questions at all, just let me know. The best place to contact me is on Instagram. I'm on the chats on Instagram. I sometimes I'm rubbish with um, replying to comments. Like I'll see the notifications, but I'll be handling babies and toddlers. And um, we'll forget about it, but I try and go back and check everything. Uh, but yeah, if you've stuck around with me today, <laughs> then um, thank you so so much and oh no and I hope to uh, see you again sometime soon I'm hoping for weekly podcasts uh, it was two weeks between this one and the last one because of Bob's Mother World Show but that was the only reason and um, yeah so I hope to be back with you again in another week and I don't know fingers crossed for quiet babies and sleeping well right and I'll get lots of knitting in I'm turning slowly slowly crazy over here <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> I love you guys. Um, I love being able to talk to you guys. I love that you give me a community when I'm not um, going out of the house to work. And um, yeah, so thank you so much, as always, for making me so much less of a lonely knitter. Hi, um, Laura from the future. Uh, it is really early, really, really early here, and um, Alfie's had me up for a while. But I just wanted to add a little bit in because I knew there'd be something I would forget. Um, I forgot to say that I'm opening a thread in the Ravelry group for um, two knit alongs that I'm going to run all year because honestly guys, you know I'm rubbish at quarterly knit alongs, at knitting a project each quarter. I never seem to finish it and it really annoys me. Um, so I'm going to do two yearly knit alongs this year, uh, they're going to run all the way till the end of the year and I will draw prizes probably every quarter throughout the year from them both and they'll just be one thread for each and it's not going to be a finished subject thread, it's going to be an um, everything thread so I would like your finished subjects in there, um, maybe I'll do something for people who finish um, but it's chatter and finished objects so two threads, one is for socks I know loads of people do sock knit alongs, um, I'm going to do one too because I love socks, I'm going to be um, doing quite a lot of sock patterns this year, I've got a ton of ideas so um, it would give you a chance to um, sock along with me, <laughs> um, but also a thread for my patterns, I just thought that this year I might do a knit along for anyone who wants to support me through knitting my patterns because I appreciate it so much and I love 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 seeing it when you guys knit my patterns um so there'll be two threads and you can chat in either post finished objects in either post whatever you want in either um and quarterly I will um be drawing the odd prize from there um but yeah go and have a little look on Ravelry if you would like to join in